It's lunchtime, and the Brooklyn Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the heart of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. and their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich you brought and take a front row seat in the Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S., are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S. Lord, my soul longs to rest from the troubles of this world. From my daily struggles, my inner pain, I call you. Though I'm hanging on the edge, lifeless, tired, and afraid, trapped in my own cocoon, I long to be free. Make me a butterfly so I can be renewed. Make me a butterfly so I can dance and soar. Make me a butterfly, transform me and give me hope for change. Make me a butterfly, Lord, please. Lord, I'm slowly breaking out from my imprisoned state. I see your light, I feel your breath. I'm near. be free. Make me a butterfly so I can be renewed. Make me a butterfly so I can dance and soar. Make me a butterfly transform. Butterfly, Lord, please. Without limits, I will fly closer to you. Higher and higher. 
can dance and so Make me a butterfly, transform me and give me hope for change. Make me a butterfly, Lord, please. Lord, please. And Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe. How'd you like that? What a way to kick off the Thanksgiving holiday. And we had to put that together in 2.3 yeah. seconds. You guys did an amazing job. And it worked. Yes. And that never works. That whole system never works. That's Even God. Why. Isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> there you have it. You, my dear, have been touched by God's fingertip. That voice of yours is unbelievable. Well, thank you. Have you done plays? I have. You have. I could tell. You have that whole playhouse feel. Yeah. Amy Barbera, that is absolutely magnificent. It was very thank you, nice. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, you for be joining us for hopefully the as next long as she hours. wants. Who <laughs> can, as long as she <laughs> wants. She'll stay with us. Unbelievable! Last couple of days that we've uh, uh, been in, in, invited to do things. We were up at the extraordinary room yesterday. Kids were up there. They did a fantastic job. You guys handling the boards today, Maverick and Dylan. Shanique, welcome back. Welcome back, Shanique. As you know, I forgot her name because she's not here enough. <laughs> Yeah. Chantella is handling the, the squeeching noise over there. We got to change the audio. What? Chantel Chanel Blondie. That's a song, isn't it? On Chante or something? On something like that. Chante. Yeah. Isn't that from what movie? I don't remember what that is. Right? But it is, is that it? French, by the way, your name? Chante. Yeah. Chanel. Is it? Are you French? Mademoiselle Chanel. Mademoiselle Chanel. Like uh, Chanel number five. Yeah. yeah. There you have it. <laughs> is that your real name, by the way? Yeah. Or is that an alias? Is your name? You, you were birthed with that? Birthed? Yeah. Birthed. It's a whole millennial. It's a new naming. It's yeah. new everything. Uh, uh, you know, we had a meeting this morning here, and Junji was here, and there's all sorts of stuff coming at you. There's all sorts of new things coming our way, and I don't even know where to begin, but I'm exhausted. I need a nap. It's so funny. I just looked at you, and I said, have you been wearing that shirt all day? <laughs> Not that we haven't been here since 9.30 this morning. I haven't even seen you since 9.30 this morning. Well, we've been a little busy. Happy Friday, Freddie. Happy Friday. What a great Friday. You know what today starts? Starts the holiday. The weekend. Thanksgiving. Yeah, but Thanksgiving's next Thursday, but the kids are going home from school. Everyone's starting their vacation. Families are starting to travel. I think schools are off next week. Yeah, everybody leaves on Thanksgiving. What is up with that? Well, they're not going very far out of Florida because of all the snowstorms, right? So uh, we might be uh, having a lot of people uh, staying is all I can say. My sister called me from New York. She says, there's two feet of snow here. I says, yeah, I'm going to the beach. See you later. There's a lot going on. So Amy, thank you for opening up our Thanksgiving holiday season. You've got the shoes and all. And I don't even know how you found us. But I'm so glad you did. Amy, what is the name of that song? Make Me a Butterfly. It's my original song that I wrote. And tell me a little bit about that song. Oh, gosh. Well, actually, it's, I wrote it back in 2007, and it was released on my first album, Beautiful Flower of Life, in 2008. But just recently, I released the Make Me a Butterfly professional music video. But I, I actually wrote the song. I overcame the eating disorder anorexia when I was a teenager. And then as I started doing my inspirational music and I was online, I started meeting people with like, cancer and I have a heart for special needs children. And I just wanted to create a song that people could relate to as far as like the butterfly being trapped in the cocoon and coming out and transforming. So it's basically like a song to bring people hope, um, a song to bring comfort. I've had so many people play it at different things at funerals. I've sang it for hundreds of events. So. It's just, it's kind of like a universal song and people can interpret it however they, you know and what I'm trying how to say. Yeah, how long have you been singing professionally? Oh gosh, probably the last 20 some, 20, 20 some years. Oh, so you're, not a, really, you're not a rookie. Really, really took it, you know, like when I was a teenager, I sang in musical theater, and but I didn't like have the confidence. Weren't you in Cats to play? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Amy was Actually, people always ask me if I would ever want to be in musical theater. I did do some musical theater in college, but I have a mission with my music, kind of like, um, I, I consider myself like an inspirational singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. so I kind of want to stick to who, you to know that. what I'm trying to say? What is your mission with your music? To Well, I'm actually a Christian, so 
Um, and I used to be a worship leader until I started going out and then writing my own songs. Just to, to, to touch people, you know, with my music. Um, you know, I'm not really, you know, to me it's not about entertainment. It's about, like, when somebody hears a song that they can take it. And you know what I'm trying to say? Like, the feeling, they like, the, beyond just singing and doing a, and a performance, I want it to be... You're inspirational. Inspirational, And I listened yeah. to your music, and Amy was supposed to join us a few weeks ago, and you and I were both away in that last minute we had to switch everything around and you said do the show without me have her on and I said nope you need to be here well I'm glad you her. I'm glad you didn't listen to me because I really wanted to hear this now you know Thank Judy why we cool. don't listen to him yes. sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you would have been really bummed out if you know you not, for not for nothing but you didn't <laughs> tell me you didn't tell me she was going to be in the set today uh-huh but you didn't tell her I'm going to be in the set today that's right now you, now you know how it feels like <laughs> Get that mic closer to but, you, you know, please. Look how Get much, the mic closer look to you. Look how all of this evolves. Amy's here, right? You're talking about hope and inspirational music and just your passage and life of, and your story of your eating disorder. And before the show, I was speaking with Fariel about journeys and everyone's journey in the past and how our, our past doesn't define who we are, but it certainly empowers our journey of to who we are and reaching out to the next step. And I can't even make this stuff up, how these things come together on our show, because... You make it up. <laughs> you know, you bring one guest, I bring another, and yet it all seems to come together. We have a new intern who may show up again next week. I know, she doesn't scare her, her away. away. Right Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up, she's coming. <laughs> she's still in the game with us. We've got Judy Herman with us. We're coming back all again, right. Freddie, for some more brain training. I didn't take my time alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last time we It'll did this, good. the last time we did the, tr the, the brain stuff, uh -huh. I discovered that my partner here is very intelligent. She is. She's very <laughs> intelligent. No, I don't mean just intelligent. No, I mean, she... and then you have a master's, yes? Yes. I didn't know any of this stuff. And okay. I said, my God, I feel like a, like, a, like a little, like a little, and then you went through all those answers and I'm like, Holy smoke. So we went to the extraordinary escape room yesterday. Oh, oh fun. We had so much yeah. fun. We brought everybody with us. So we took all the interns oh, with us. Cool. Oh, cool. And behind me, knucklehead me, there's yeah. a library Yeah. that had all the clues in the world. <laughs> so Dawn says, let me look and see what's back there. She starts finding all these keys and locks yeah. and clues. And I'm saying, and then I said, it reminded me of that day that we did this. I said, yes. you know what? I'm just going to listen to her and just keep going. The pictures yeah. that they did yesterday are hysterical. If you guys see on Instagram and on Facebook, she took everything from the video cameras. So it's actually us in action. Uh -huh. They're hilarious. Well, Yes Man is working on a piece, and then he found out it doesn't have any sound. Yes. So he's putting, <laughs> that's Yes Man. Really? Yes, Jeffrey, man. there's no sound on that piece? No, but he's doing a voice on it. There's music. There's, there's music. music. He's putting there's music. music on it. All right. Fantastic. It all because all right. got the a lot puzzles, going on. The puzzles that I have today work different parts of the brain. So well, here I'm we go. Sure that we'll find. Well, you're gonna hit the vacancy. You. You're gonna hit yeah, a vacancy. No vacancy. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to stick my thumb out because to get a ride. Because that's something you know when you are doing. If if you do do puzzles, and I hope you will, uh, try doing different ones that work different parts of the brain. So maybe do something that's logic, something that's math, something that's spatial something that's verbal i've got that for all today so all right so let's get that rolling, rolling out so we could talk yeah something. let's get some of that These and we are can... all for thanksgiving so the first one i have of is, is. is verbal this is hidden thanksgiving riddles and all you have to do with this is read the words now the spacing isn't correct oh, Hester, we're here. but the words and letters are anybody else want to try sure yeah give them all out let them so all get her head these are fun riddles for you to try out as well riddle so, me this riddle all aboard this. the brain train yes that's the thing i'm the brain entertainer i entertain people's brains with puzzles and word games and tips and tricks for how to remember things i got the what? first one we got it read it so read it it's a why shouldn't you in, why shouldn't you invite a turkey to a dinner party? Dinner party. Why, why shouldn't you invite a turkey to a dinner party? Yes. Because what's the answer? Oh, because autism. Uh, 
Nice job, Janice. Now, why is it that she can read that and I can't? Because she took her math class yesterday. That's her brain works verbally. We'll you know, I'm going to tell you. Are you are you are you are you married? Yes. I want to meet your husband because you are one scary lady. He's my guinea pig for all of I can imagine. Like he probably job. walks around He's with pins in his head. Better at it. Do you know that really scares me? I couldn't read the second one. Okay, try the second one. I did. Why? I could, you mean the third one? Why didn't the turkey want dessert? That one I can read. He was already sweet. Stuffed. He was <laughs> already stuck. That one I can't read. All right, this is ridiculous. Can I make my own answers? You can make your own, <laughs> make your own answers. answers. This yeah. is ridiculous. I can't read that line again. What is wrong with you? Am I lacking answers. like a no, cell? No. Maybe she don't know. Okay, more, Freddy. Try the last one, Freddy. <laughs> Which side of the turkey has more stuff? What? Has most feathers. <laughs> has most feathers. Has most feathers. Which side? The outside. Yay, Freddy! <laughs> Where's your bell? Uh, ding, 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 ding. Do you know how ding, hard ding. it was for me to focus on this one? What is wrong with my brain, lady? Nothing's wrong know. with your brain. What's wrong with it? You just need to exercise it more verbally. So try doing some uh, cross stick puzzles or some. He's going to say a what puzzle? Games. A what puzzle? Yeah, a what puzzle? You, oh, man, what? you, you want to try? Your brain is fried because look what you're doing. They do. Yes. Yeah. They, did did your you excuse. see this? They That's wait, your wait, excuse. Did you see this? Did okay. you look at it? Is it a man thing? Well, we're going to make sure you have the next one. Well, they say that men are better at math. So here's some Thanksgiving uh -oh. math right, We're going to pass it over to the yes, that this. Now that does. Are you ready, Freddy? Okay. I'm getting at math. One and one is two, two and two. Pass those to Maverick. Maverick. Hey, Maverick, they want you to participate. <laughs> participate. Matt, you got pencils, too? How many of these you got? You got a lot of these? I got a few. You got a few. Hand them all out so they can all play. We also have can April. We, are you no? You, you know? You know? Fine. You know all the answers. And April is the art director for Amy. Yeah. Okay. And we have Ariel with us. It is English. It's just the spacing is different. That's the thing. See, it makes. You need a pencil, Freddie? I need a pencil. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Need pencils? Yes, they also have those color cones in their eyes. They don't see color as well. Can we have an extra pencil? Well, my excuse, I don't have my glasses on. How about oh, that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Put your glasses on your purse. Who needs? I know, glasses? but it's too far away to Somebody get bring it. me those purses. Oh, no, please don't. We're going to put your glasses. You <laughs> no, think. No, no, you it's think. <laughs> yeah. I have a good yeah. excuse. They see, now it's no good. Yeah. What's yours, though? Okay, I put so them on right how here. Many, how many turkeys in the flock? All right, Freddie. The number is between 20 and 40. It is an odd number. It's an odd number. And the sum of the two digits is 10. 20 and 40. Ooh. So that's it's seven. It's got to be odd. 37. There you go. Nice job, Freddie. He did Wait, say men are that? better in that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> It'll probably be the only time I'm going to read the bell. That was really good. Okay, next one. It's a large gathering. How many people? at the dinner we want to know the number of people is between 13 and 23 and it's an even number there will be three tables with the same number of people at each table so how many people are there all together 13 and 23 the number of people is between 13 and 23 13 and 23 it's an even number and there'll be three tables okay. So it has to be divisible by three. Fifteen. Even number. Even Sixteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Well Eighteen. done. Eighteen. Who three said that? Three tables of six. Who, who did six, that? Who got that? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. You got that? <laughs> Jackie Bird, she stayed for math yesterday. You know, not for nothing. I, that math stuff okay. is getting in your head. <laughs> You're wor it's working. That's right. Smart girl. Jackie Bird. Jackie Bird. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty good. Next one. What will they eat? Marcy, Marla, and Marvin will each eat only one traditional food at the Thanksgiving dinner. One will eat turkey, one will eat pumpkin, and one will eat corn. Both women are vegetarians, but Marcy doesn't like pumpkin. So what will they each eat? Corn. Who will eat corn? So Marcy's a vegetarian. <laughs> Marcy and she doesn't, doesn't like pumpkin, pumpkin, so Marcy has to eat corn. Yeah. Marcy has to eat corn, exactly. 
And Marla has to eat pumpkin because she's a vegetarian. And Marla will exactly. eat and turkey Marla because she's a turkey. That's logic. See, you got the clues. <laughs> we work well together, Freddie. See that? Out. Where Very is uh, the talent of? Very good. Okay, here comes some math again, Freddie. This is where you can shine. How many corns <laughs> and pumpkins? There was an abundance of vegetables at the farmer's market, so Marnie bought lots of corn and pumpkins for the Thanksgiving dinner. She got 19 items all together. There are seven more ears of corn than pumpkins. So how many of each are there? Where's my calculator? 12. <laughs> 12. Well, we want to know we, each one. Uh, how many corn seven and more how ears many are pumpkins? <laughs> Come on, Freddie. 19 altogether. Well, there's more corn, so I'm going to say corn, and there's 19. So corn, 12 and 7? But that isn't right because it would be seven more ears of corn. Seven, seven of one and um, 12, 12 of the other. other. Mm -mm. She got 19 items altogether. There are seven more ears of corn than pumpkins. How many? I think ears come in a pair. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. Very good, John. I think I'm sorry, and self. <laughs> so, how many? Ears of corn. So, of corn, half it is six. What did you get? No. Minus 19 minus six is how much? Six ears of corn and seven pumpkins? What is 19 no, minus more six? more corn than pumpkins. So there's six pumpkins? Seven more corn than pumpkins. So there's so six corn <laughs> and 13, right. six there are corn. six pumpkins, which means there are how many corn? 13. 13. 13. I had 13 corn and six, I mean six. and ears of corn and six, six pumpkins. You were right. Well two done. times six is 12. So the answer is 12 and seven, but because of the ears being two, you got to divide it by two, so it's six mm. and seven. Okay. All right. Last one. No. How many pumpkin pies? Wait a minute. That's not right. We'll go on. Stan and Rita have been using Marnie's pumpkins to make pies for their feast. Stan has made twice as many as Rita. If together they have made 12 pies, how many has each made? Okay. So mm -hmm. twice as many. So if you have 12, Divided by 2 is 6. So if I do 6 minus 12 is 6, I'm going to say 3 and 8. 8 and 4? 8 and 4. That's even better. 8 and 4? 8 and 4. Stan made 8. Rita made 4. I don't know who made what. <laughs> who made, I, just I really don't care who made you, what. I have to say that I try to personalize all my puzzles. And every year we go for Thanksgiving with our dear friends Stan and Rita, Rita and they have children whose names Beautiful. are Marnie, Marcy, and Marla. Oh. So I try to do this, and then we all do the puzzles at the table. This is so fantastic. It's incredible. Really fun. It makes me hungry doing this. Makes oh. you hungry? Yes, I want a pumpkin. I think it's for real pies. Okay. <laughs> real pies, exactly. Okay, now I have one that challenges the spatial ability. Oh, you're going to get this one. I got to none. navigate. I confess that I am spatially challenged. Me too. I'm, what does spatially one, mean? Uh, that you can navigate. You, you can never you find know, the lids to go with the um, when Tupperware. You go, when I'm you, out. <laughs> when you go to I'm uh, out. a hotel, for example, and you get out of the elevator, I I'm the one who it. turns in the wrong, the wrong direction. Way. Exactly. Me too. You too? Me too. Okay. So here's something. This is a maze. And I call it amazing. Football is amazing. I want you to find your way through the football to get the player to the ball. Okay, and, and Amy, after this, cross, will you take us out with another song? Yeah. Can't cross so, any of Dylan, the solid lines. Get ready to sing. After this set, song. we're going to go out to another song with Amy. Okay. You know, what I usually do is I pay the bellhop. And he shows me where the he room is. He shows you where the room so is. Just don't ever leave the room and you're good to go. Them? Yes, of course Thank you can. Sure. Thank you. All right, Dylan, get whatever song she needs to get up for the kids. next one, please. Okay, so this maze you may, take you, it may take you a little you got this? minute. You got it? So see if you can you yours? get your way through. Fabulous foliage, fattening feast, freaky fights, best of all football. Yeah. The player here is offside and needs to help to get to the ball. Okay, find the correct path from the player through the maze without crossing any, any. solid lines. Right. 
And you can work it both ways. That's a good tip on doing it. I always do Sometimes it backwards. Sometimes you can do it backwards, and maybe you see it. And I see Ferial is, is kind of outlining in her head, and hopefully she's got the path. <laughs> and then the problem is remembering it. How to yeah. do it? How do you do it? I, I was I nearly there. I'll it. try again. I'll try again. <laughs> But I, I do find it easier to go backwards personally. Yes, I do too, I usually. Think that a lot yeah. of people do. But it's not my bike. It might not be the case in this one. Or sometimes you two sides against the middle. Oh, that's like oh. yeah. So you can go one way and then the other way. You know, when they test that. the kids and that's both for, for gifted testing, they always do these mazes, and you have to stay between the lines, and you can't cross the barrier. All these things. I'm glad sure, I'm not yeah, in school so again. We well, you know, there, this right? is a good thing for your manual dexterity and yes. for, again, as you said, Dawn, the staying between the lines. Yeah. So doing a puzzle Easy. like this yeah. challenges more parts Shutter of the brain down. than just the one that Except is finding the path. Maybe How are you doing? Uh, I, yeah. I ran into a wall in both you directions. <laughs> so I guess that way isn't the right way. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, but you I'm in! 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 I did it backwards. I, I did it backwards. Yes, I did it backwards. Good. So, oh, here you go, ladies. You, you, you do this all day? You spatially challenged. We are not spatially challenged. You do it all day? when I need to pack oh, leftovers okay. up. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow when I'm packing Does it make you more intelligent if happens. you do these all day? Yes. Okay. Oh, of course. All right. And I'm staying dumb then. Stop that. See, you can't. Let me show you. Let me show you what I did. I went like this. <laughs> so you got to go through all that. You took the easy way out. He went and nobody said you couldn't do it. Outside. That's right. You didn't say I couldn't there do that. You, go. See? you know, the fastest way to anything is a straight, so, quick, and line. So <laughs> very creative. Amy, you want to take us out to commercial with another song? You want to sing another? Yeah. Dylan, you ready? Yes. You remember her mic, so you're going to shut all the other mics down. All right. The beautiful music of Amy Barbera. This is called Flying, and it's from my healing meditation album, Breath of Angels. It's another. A flyaway song. Get ready to fly. <laughs> can see the angels all around me in the sky. I can touch the soft clouds in this paradise. I can feel God's warm light surround me in this dream. Can 
Almost like a like a lullaby, like take you off in a different world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Brooklyn Cafe is at Slovakia. Slovakia, Slovakia. <laughs> Best pizza in Florida, let me tell you. Are you getting me doing the corner chomi? Slovakia has been on Atlantic Avenue for eight years. Oh, pizza ball. <laughs> LeBron James. We make homemade uh, Neapolitan pizza, which is just like you're walking the streets of Naples, Italy. We make our own homemade mozzarella cheese. Our pizza is the thin crust pizza. I love it. <laughs> It is the best pizza, and ladies, if you're counting carbs, only 12 carbs in an entire pizza. The whole thing. Come visit Slovakia. Check it out. 522 East Atlantic Boulevard. Are you going to eat? We're going to try it. We're going to eat. You ready? Stay in. Was around the room. Welcome to the Probiotic Protection Zone. The Airbiotic system distributes millions of safe and all-natural environmental probiotics into the air and on surfaces using the latest ultrasonic and nanotechnology. Airbiotics is a movement to save us and the future generations from antibiotic-resistant superbugs. Reduce your risk of allergies, skin infection, colds, and flu. Get rid of deep-seated odors and enter into a protective shield of Airbiotics. Order your Airbiotics personal or environmental system today at airbioticszone.com. A-I-R-B-I-O-T-I-X-Z-O-N-E.com. Good for use in nursing homes, schools, travel, or daily use. Order yours today, airbioticszone.com. Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 
626. We make your travel dreams come true. Science has confirmed that real health comes from raw, organic, and wild foods. Essentials is a complete program of five products to help your body function as nature intended. Premium Ancient Superfood Algae offers energy and stamina. Food-based digestive enzymes help prevent occasional heartburn and may reduce stress from processed foods and heavy metals. Our proprietary probiotics help support immune health, regulate bowels, and eliminate toxins. Improve your mood, mental clarity, focus, fast rejuvenation, and better sleep. Order now at eatessentialsnow.com. Essentials, life-enhancing ingredients in the palm of your hand. Eatessentialsnow.com. And we are back at the Brooklyn Cafe on a fun brain teasing Friday. We're kicking off the holiday season, the holiday spirit, which I cannot even believe we're talking holidays. I honestly have to tell you, it was just summer. I can think about last Thanksgiving and then we go in. It's already Thanksgiving next week. It's the craziest thing. But we've had the beautiful music of Amy Barbera and April Ancelona. She just stepped out. She's her, I guess her artistic branding director. So she'll give us a little information. We've got brain training with Judy Herman. So that's, My head hurts. Your head hurts already. <laughs> but you're really good at numbers. You know, I can read backwards like I did yesterday, but you got the numbers thing down. Now, I just want you to know, ladies and gentlemen, that she can read backwards. Oh. Now, I mean, think about that. But who can, who the hell it, reads backwards? But no one could do what Hector did yesterday. That was amazing. And what you know, he was, he was brought up that way. But he was he amazed. Is, what he can animate or what he creates for us animation. And he looked at this clue yesterday, right, Chef? About the boomerang. Who, we didn't even have a chance to look at it. He goes, find the boomerang. Yep. Find and boomerang. Amy was sitting on the boomerang all along. And it, I, don't, I don't even know where Amy is. I think Annie. she's in there, find the boomerang. But everyone's brain just works differently. Yes. We've got a great show lined and some up. Show, and some brains don't work. Like, everyone, I can't read. Everyone's brain works. They just work differently. Everyone it has didn't work. Work. It did. And Let some me th people just focus on one thing, the way you're focusing on the thing that you didn't do well. See. Focus on what you did, because you're terrific. Exactly. There's the secret. There you the go. secret. I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got with us over here? Who's that? We got Fariel Joachim with us. I can't see her. I don't have her glasses on. <laughs> Put them on, please. I'm going to go get you. So you Where, what country are you from? I was born in the Middle East, but uh, lived most of my, my life in Australia. Australia, right? Because I hear that, that, that surfing uh, background. Oh, Do you surf? You really? No, surfing? She knows where <laughs> the boomerang is, though, I bet. That's the other thing Hector knew. I want to ask you about the kangaroo. Yes. The marsupial? That person. Ooh. All I know is their hop. Have you ever seen one? Absolutely. Have you ever talked to one? Talked to one? Yes. Because they're mammals, yes? yes? Yeah, but no, I haven't. You haven't. Did you ever have one as a pet? No, but I fed one. You fed one? Yes. A kangaroo? Yes. Is it true that they box, they go on their tail, and they'll kick you with their legs? They can kick you They do with that. Legs. And it hurts, yes. right? Yes. Never met anybody who knew a kangaroo. You don't want to fight a kangaroo. Sometimes no. I really wonder where you come you up with the these kangaroo. questions. <laughs> you ever seen a kangaroo fight? Come on. Nobody's fight. ever seen a kangaroo scary. fight. They go on their tail. They have huge tails that yeah. can break your neck. Doesn't the father carry the baby around though in its pouch? The mother. The mother. Mm. Hello? <laughs> the father doesn't have a pouch. The mother then. Does the father have a pouch? I'm not sure actually. That's Anybody know question. the answer to that Where's question? Where's the Freddy fact finder? Oh yeah. Anybody? Uh, you know I, who knows the answer? Oh, to, Look at them. Shine this. Shine this knows. Does the male kangaroo have, have a pouch? pouch? No. No. She's like a Course she fixed you she fixed that? she fixed my phone, so I believe anything she, said, she, of said. Not. Anything she said. Oh, here you go. She I didn't want to it up. Well the male the female does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, because you know the seahorse does. Yes. The male yeah. seahorse yeah. takes the babies. Well the around. sea her, the seahorse, the male seahorse is the one that shoots the eggs out. The male seahorse. I seen that on, on the baby. I seen that on Facebook. And we were talking about marsupials last week with Paul. What is it with you and the marsupials? Because dolphins are not marsupials. They're mammals. Mammals. They, yes. they, they're becoming too technical for me. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Brain brain brain. Scientific brain. Do you know what a marsupial? You know what a marsupial is? What is that? A kangaroo. But you know what it means, a marsupial? Isn't a platypus also yeah. carrying their babies? 
They carry their babies in a pouch. Is that what it means? You know, you're a very intelligent woman. Have you noticed everyone is far back in the other Why side are of the you room? guys so far back? Can you guys yeah. like move up a little bit? No? You're fine right there? Chef brought everyone some food today. We've got Z with us. Z, my Thanksgiving has grown. When she first said, I'll do Thanksgiving, we were eight. We've now doubled in size. And we're coming over too, so it's going to be 37 people. <laughs> you know what she says? She says, okay, I'm ready. That's the beautiful thing she says. We all go okay. hang out at Dawn's house. <laughs> Tell exactly. your mother we're coming. <laughs> yeah, Mom, we're coming. Freddie's coming for dinner. And I'm bringing puzzles. That'd be so yeah, much fun, pumpkins. right? How many pumpkins do we need? And ears of corn. And you know what's really sad? Pumpkins, right? You bring up pumpkins. Yeah. Have you ever carved a pumpkin? Yes. Have you? Have you ever no. toasted pumpkin seeds? I, yes. I, I, Wonderful. I, I, so but have you guys oh, ever yeah. carved a pumpkin? Yeah. yeah. I have never carved a pumpkin. You haven't? Yes. Have no. you? No, My son did, but I haven't. I have never carved, never a, pumpkin. carved a pumpkin. Oh, never. So I think what we should do for the show that we're going to film is carve a pumpkin. Okay. Okay. Competition. Chef. Competition. And you, carve, you and I will carve it together. Yeah. Z, have you ever, you know how to carve a pumpkin? Of course. All right, we're going to do a Thanksgiving show on carving a pumpkin. Yes, and we're going to put we a face and everything. We should have done it for Halloween. Sure. No, we need it for Thanksgiving oh. to keep all the Halloween spirits away. And then you've got to eat it because I was going to say one of you the gotta things eat about it. nutrition is that you should eat colorfully. That's a good rule of thumb. Eat the deeply colored green foods and the brightly colored orange You do this every day? Reds. I try to. I swear to God, I want to meet your husband. I really do. Plate. I have a colorful plate. Exactly. Wait till you see our Thanksgiving plate. It's going to be very colorful. Yes. You That's the problem picture. with Jewish food, by the way. There is no color in Jewish food. <laughs> it's beige. What do you eat? It's beige. It's beige. If you it's think beige. about Jewish food, I'm sorry, it's I'm beige. Jewish. It's it like is, a bagel. I can think about and yeah. from bagels to brisket to but that has color. Passover, right? To yeah. farfel. Passover is a food. Kugel. Yeah. Kugel. Well, I'm and, gonna then, tell you. and then you can maybe throw some cinnamon, so now you got beige and orange. If you're lucky, you got a prune. Throwing so some, some what? <laughs> Throwing some what? Prunes. Simmons. No. Simmons. What the hell is that? Carrots oh. and honey and prunes. Because after you eat all the beige Carrots and, and honey and, and prunes? Go to the bathroom. Yeah. Dude, it's delicious. Carrots? Yeah. Okay. It's delicious. It's I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what delicious is. All right. What's okay, delicious? I'm going to tell you. Last night, we had empanada loca. Yeah. Latino food on the set of Tells Your Biz. He brought in panadas. He brought octopus salad. Say it again. Pulpo. Pulpo. Ensalada de pulpo. Pulpo. And I'm going to tell you, Dawn had it last night, and everybody went crazy with this guy. He's coming next week. He's coming Friday. We're going to be Good. doing leftover Thanksgiving empanada style. Ah. What the Latinos do is they take whatever's left over, right? And they stab this thing, and they, they make a big bowl of it, and it's and turkey. And what's that other and, word? What, empanadilla? No, the one he stuffs it with. Mofongo. That one, mofongo. Which is a plantain. Yeah, with... That's what I, I like the really earliest sounds, yeah. So she was learning all this stuff. So I told him, listen, I got a chef. We're going to have so much fun with this stuff. Mofongo? Have you ever had Latin food? Monica, I've had mofongo. La Latin food, mofongo. Have you? Yeah. No. It's not Brazilian. It's not Brazilian. Ah. Annie, no. Has Annie ever had mofongo? Annie ever had mofongo? <laughs> mofongo, Annie. She says yes. <laughs> you like it? I got empanadillas coming, Annie. We're going to have a merengue next week. Watch. Oh, my God. Are you going to be in town? Next Friday? Yes. We're having oh, leftover Thanksgiving empanada We're style. doing Latino style next week. Empanadas are coming. She's Mofongos like, coming. Uh, uh -huh. Ensalada de pulpo is coming. This guy brought this last night. Wow. This it guy is so unbelievable. Was it colorful? Oh, very. Uh -huh. very the, 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 you should make some, take some of the, uh, the salad. The, take uh, some is better than make some, yes. No, you're not going to uh, make it. Exactly. But have him bring you like a, a thing of octopus. Do your family eat octopus? Mm. Not so much? I do. Chuck does. Chuck likes octopus. I don't know if my dad would eat it so much. But anyway, uh, you know do you want to talk to Fariel about what she does? We'll get we'll yes. more into the food. Food is next mm. week. Food is next week. You, food you is are always. making me hungry. <laughs> and well, I haven't had we, my breakfast yet. That's why we have Chef Z with us. The chef is in the house. Chef's oh, in the house. please. She brought yeah. some food. Save me. What did you bring today? I brought um, broccoli and potato soup. Ooh. You brought a potato soup? Broccoli potato soup. Yeah. All right, Chanel I'm done. Up for that one. I got to go eat it. You want to get some soup? It's perfect it's for best. today because of the weather. The what? Because it's 66 degrees? 61? <laughs> you know, I don't understand. I swear to God, if somebody has gloves on, you got a jacket on. Yeah. yeah is yeah. it that cold? Um, it's supposed to be cold out. I'm preparing. 
Are you a jacket or a sweater? Are you get close to the mic? Are you a native um, Floridian? Oh no. Where are you from? New York. So this is nothing. I wanted to go on the in shorts. And my opportunity wear boots. <laughs> is that what it is? Everybody tells me, oh, look, I got my gloves on. You want to sweat? They're sweating. I said, why are you sweaty? It's kind of hot. I said, no yeah. kidding. You look like you're going to Antarctica. <laughs> we got Fairy out with us. Yeah. <laughs> and she would have been perfect yesterday when we were looking for the boomerang in Australia. Yes. But we found her today. And she can actually throw one. Can you throw a boomerang? Can I throw one? Yes, but you need to be careful how you throw it out that. It's they come, come back. It's like it's throwing a chocolate. Yeah, they did that it's in New York. Wherever you, you, it comes back. It comes back. Yeah, wow. so That's why it's called be, boomerang. Yeah, it yeah, boomer right. bangs. It's like the chunk plastic. It'll take your head off. I love her book. It's called Beyond Beauty, A Refugee's Journey in Pursuit of Happiness. And I read the back and I started to Sad? Oh, it's wow. not sad. It's inspiring. And, it, and I was talking to Jen and our conversations evolved inside the intern cave about the two to three hour. And you had mentioned that the two to three hour used to be story time. So imagine taking that two to three hour and not read books. We could, we could bring authors on with their books, but the stories of their journey and what everybody's story is and where they came from and where they are now. And that your past doesn't define who you are. It just changes the journey and where you are. And your past. It, it, that's actually the past is what makes you who you are today. And although we all go through hardship and you know, different stories, we need to embrace that and learn from that. You got to learn. Advantage, absolutely. If you don't yes. learn, ask Napoleon, he'll tell you. You don't learn from history, you're bound to fail. Well, the harder you fall, sure. the higher you need to get up and fight for it. And uh, it took me years to get where I am today. And this story, Beyond Beauty, A Refugee Journey in Pursuit of Happiness, is actually to teach others, don't wait before it's too late. So it, it is an inspiration story. Now, I wanted, I wanted to touch on a, a subject matter, which you can tell me, no, you'd rather not, because you're from the Middle East. Correct. And I wanted to touch on that a little bit. Yes. And the reason, there's reasons for everything I do. We have a show coming on next week that's very touching as well, I think. But the Middle East and women. Middle East and women. And women, okay. those two components. Very difficult to be a woman in the Middle East. It's gotten better, yes, I understand because now they actually let you drive. I think it depends on the country. Oh, hold on. I'm going to let her answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let her come forward because we're talking about the past to the present. Yes. So the Middle East, is it difficult to be a woman? Uh, depending where you're from. <laughs> okay. Well, like, hold I, on. I was born in uh, Lebanon, so it, it is a lot easier than other Middle, East, Middle Eastern uh, countries. Uh, but... The journey I had and where I come from is what made me who I am today because I was born in a refugee camp. Okay. So In Lebanon? In Lebanon, correct. Okay. Well, um, I was, my parents were Palestinian, <coughs> excuse me, from the Holy Land. I call it the Holy Land. Um, so when they um, went to Lebanon in 48, uh, mom was young, my dad was about 13. But it has been a journey and I ended up going to Australia and my first ever citizenship was Australian. This was my only identity and that's why I'm proud to be Australian. And if you look at the cover, you have Australia right, right in, in the, the middle. middle. Mm -hmm. So and the book was designed by my son and it's a team effort. My husband, my kids put all this How many together. children do you I have? I never realized what this is on the cover. How have many? A look, have a talk, deeper look. Talk about brain training, right? To me, it, yes. I would never <laughs> realize was she, what this was. Was she the United States? Yeah, absolutely. But I, I did. Yeah. Well, she happens to be a branding again, expert. Again, there's more, there's more puzzle in that. Have but I look. didn't see the United States until right you showed there. me Australia. Yeah. To me, this was a puzzle. Now, yes. how many children do you have? I have three. Okay. My daughter is married to an American. She lives in Australia. They love it there. They didn't want to come. And then I have two boys. Um, one lives in New York and he's a producer, theatrical um, producer. We're going to get and you on the stage again. Yeah. <laughs> and my youngest one, he just turned 30 and um, he's an architect. Okay, so then let me ask you because your daughter, your daughter is. How do you explain, how do you deal, forget about the males for a second. Yes. I'm more interested in the female aspect of this. How do you deal with your daughter explaining your past and how her 
present and future is different than, than your past, in right? America. She has, she has it, more it, chance, more choices. It wasn't easy, Freddie. Um, and it still is hard to talk about the past. And uh, as you know, I am an image consultant and a trainer. So when I was teaching people how to wear, what to wear, what not to wear, to help them feel good and th create the personal um, brand, mm -hmm. they kept on saying, you need to tell your story because I like to be authentic, I like to be truthful, and I want to touch people's heart with this story, to mm -hmm. encourage them, to tell them that it's okay, life is still, will go on regardless what. And therefore, my consultant and my students and my clients kept on saying, you have to tell your story. My kids went through it. I took them to, to the Holy Land. We went back and saw where my parents and grandparents um, were born and grew up. I have two auntie living there and to go to Bethlehem, to Nazareth, where my dad was born. It's an incredible journey, but I even went out of my way to take my kids to the refugee camp where I was born to show them that life is not easy and what you have today and you need to live your life, you know, every day and appreciate it. Live the moment because tomorrow is not promised to us. It's not guaranteed. And what did they say? When you took them there um you know they they all incredible people and this is coming from other people telling me that your kids are out of this world they go out of their way to help others and they very humble like where we are i mean god gave us more than what we deserve and i just had an event last week and that's why i couldn't come before we raised over twenty five thousand dollars for refugees because although I made a name for myself in the most glamorous industries and I'm the you know, director for Miss Australia, I will never forget where I came from because I believe um, losing my dad and being a, a, in a refugee camp it makes us appreciate what we have and who we are today. It, it's amazing because your story, and again, you didn't even do this on purpose today, but your story um, when you educate and help, we talked about millennials and the youth of today. There's a difference between teaching somebody because you know it and teaching somebody because you lived it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've lived it. Yeah. You know, it's really funny. And, and we had this conversation about people and business and everything else. Um, and some people just, you can't hit the note. You know, in, in, in life, you want to hit the note. We talked about this. Okay. You want to hit the note. And you'll know what the note is. Yes. You'll know what that is. Well, for them, when they hear it, they know that I'm so passionate about it because I went through it. And this is the whole story is like, don't judge me because I don't know how to walk, how to talk or how to eat properly. And this is why I believe the journey took me into this industry is because I was judged when I was young by the rich and famous that they didn't want to play with me or lay a zone with me because I was not good enough for them. I didn't know how to dress like them or go to ballet classes like them. Uh, and this is what we need to do and educate our young generation that right. you are good enough. And if you want to make it happen and you want it, you can, you can do it. The journey's an incredible journey. I want to keep the story going, but we need to switch over to the radio hour, Freddie. Yes. You're going to find us at 95.3 FM, 1470 AM. Amy, if you can stay with us for the next hour, we'll have more music from Amy Barbera. And we haven't even gotten a chance to talk to April. Judy, we're going to talk essentials. we got Chef Z with us. And this Beyond Beauty, I really need to find out what this means, because now I'm not no geography buff, and now i got to look at the puzzle <laughs> on here. So stay tuned, and we will be right back.
offer presented on the Del Wamsley Show constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security. Your business is now operating with this. Is Top 1470 is WWNN Pompano Beach and 95.3 FM W237BD Boca Raton. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. Medicare open enrollment is here. Are you looking for a new Medicare plan with better benefits? Call Debbie at I Will Advisors. Debbie and her team are available to meet with you right now. You can go to their office. They can come to your home or meet you somewhere that you are most comfortable. Call Debbie at I Will Advisors and schedule an appointment. 954-753-8080. 954-753-8080. 954-753-8080. Have you tried investing in the stock market and haven't done very well? Come into Online Trading Academy. Have your investments lost money and you're frustrated because the only thing your broker says is write it out? Hop in the car and get to Online Trading Academy. Pro investors show you how money is made in up, down, and sideways markets. You'll see the best way to pick stocks, options, futures, and forex using a patented rules-based strategy taught only at Online Trading Academy. How to find the right investments, how to time the market, how to protect money from risk. For over 20 years, thousands have learned how to invest from home at Online Trading Academy. Come in and see what this school's all about at a free half-day class. They're all over Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Stewart, and Port St. Lucie. Seating is limited, so call Online Trading Academy now to win a pair of tickets. 954-668-2510. 954-668-2510. 954-668-2510. Hunger could be living next door to you. Hunger is found in every zip code, in every school, and every town. One in eight Americans is food insecure. That's millions of children, working moms or dads, college kids and retirees, waking up each morning not knowing if they'll have enough food for that day. Together, we can help end hunger in our community. This station is part of the Beasley Best Community of Caring. Learn more about ways to help fight hunger in your neighborhood. Or if you're food insecure, find resources at our website today. You're pregnant. How far? One month, two, no doctor yet. I can't afford it. Protect yourself and your baby. The health department can help you out. Test for STDs. I don't have diseases. You don't know. You don't always have symptoms. STDs make you and your baby sick. I don't want my baby sick. No one cares more about your baby than you. I'm calling my county health department. A message from the Florida Department of Health, the Florida Association of Broadcasters, and this radio station. Talk here, talk there. Talk 1470 AM and 95.3 FM, the Health and Wealth Radio Network. WNN. Welcome to the Probiotic Protection Zone. The Airbiotic System distributes millions of safe and all natural environmental probiotics into the air and on surfaces using the latest ultrasonic and nanotechnology. Airbiotics is a movement to save us and the future generations from antibiotic resistant superbugs. Reduce your risk of allergies, skin infection, colds, and flu. Get rid of deep seated odors and enter into a protective shield of Airbiotics. Order your Airbiotics personal or environmental system today at airbioticszone.com. A I R B I O T I X Z O N E.com. Good for use in nursing homes, schools, travel, or daily use. Order yours today, airbioticszone.com. Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, 
and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners Travel Advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. Science has confirmed that real health comes from raw, organic, and wild foods. Essentials is a complete program of five products to help your body function as nature intended. Premium Ancient Superfood Algae offers energy and stamina. Food-based digestive enzymes help prevent occasional heartburn and may reduce stress from processed foods and heavy metals. Our proprietary probiotics help support immune health, regulate bowels, and eliminate toxins. Improve your mood, mental clarity, focus, faster rejuvenation, and better sleep. Order now at eatessentialsnow.com. Essentials, life-enhancing ingredients in the palm of your hand. Eatessentialsnow.com. It's lunchtime, and the Broken Cafe is open for business. Live from Studio A in the Haunted of Delray Gallery, Dawn and Freddie S. And their team are ready to serve up a huge portion of fun for lunch with friends and neighbors. So let's break open that lunch pail and unwrap that sandwich. You brought and take a front row seat to Brooklyn Cafe and get ready to enjoy some humor and hot topics. It's time to get a healthy serving of hope and happiness to help your day go by with a smile. Your host, Dawn and Freddie S. are ready to talk about food, health, dating, or just plain dream making. If you have a story to share, a movie review, restaurant critique, or just a coincidental thing that happened to you, call in toll free at 888-565-1470 right now. Sit back and enjoy your lunch break at the Brooklyn Cafe. Here are your hosts, Dawn and Freddie S. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe. Boy, the, the funk is back in the rock, baby. I can like that. That was nice. Welcome to all our friends in South Florida, LA, San Francisco, New York. It's a little cold outside. Yeah, we got some soup because it's a little cold. That's right. They South brought Florida. in soup because it's a big <laughs> whopping 66 degrees in Florida. <laughs> See my winter clothes? I go into the beach, but it's freezing down here. We've got some broccoli potato soup. Chef Z style in the house. Yes. Janice is serving it up. We've got Mon even Monica, our new intern, she's serving food. We've got everyone working here. I'm going to tell you how cold it is in Florida. <laughs> it's so cold that JoJo told me, because she lives by the ocean, the heat of the water is giving steam because it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> so all Freeze. of you that are in the snowstorm, I know you're not feeling sympathy, but we are thinking of everybody. Oh, listen, come on down. I have a nice little hot cup of coffee. We got potato soup. You ain't got to be in New York. You know why I left New York? No potato soup? No, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why I left New York. One day, my brother, may he rest in peace, made a snowball. And he threw it from across the street. In New York, they have streets, you know? Not like here. And it hit me right here. I went down for the count. Judy, that explains... The logical thinking oh, yeah, side. Yeah. That's what's missing, Judy. That's exactly yeah. what it is. I went down for the count. I went upstairs. I packed my bags. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I can't stand the cold. I hate the cold. I hate it, hate it, hate it. You get a little cold. I get a little cold a lot, too. But welcome to our fabulous Fun Friday. We had some brain training with Judy Herman. We're going to do some more. We've got some more puzzles we're going to do. We've got Amy Barbera, the beautiful music, and she'll be taking us out to commercial break when we do that. We've got Chef Z with us, Deb Barcelone. We're talking Essentials Friday. I don't know who's on board, but Barbara Swanson's going to be calling in at about 1.20, and we'll do the audio side with Barbara. And we've got Ferriel Joachim with us, and we were talking about her story, A Refugee's Journey in Pursuit of Happiness. Now, Freddie, I did not put this together because you invited Ferriel. 
I so did. I'm just saying, Ferriel and Chef, Chef's dad, and her mom are not from America. Mm -hmm. No, my dad's from Lebanon. She's Lebanese. My mom is African from West Africa, Sierra Leone. And Ferriel, your parents, you said, well, you were born in a refugee in camp Lebanon. in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Florida and the United States is truly a melting pot. I'm not talking politics, anybody, but truly, no. we are. You're a getting awfully pot close. Of everybody You're very world. close. I'm not, because of what I want to talk you about are. is her journey that she writes beyond That's beauty. right. Yeah. That's right. And when you teach, the journey is different than when you lived it than when you know it. And the journey of our past, it all represents oh my where God. we. How's that soup going for you, Freddie? Good. He's good? hungry. Oh, my God. Yes, good? <laughs> I'm going to taste it. Is it's this vegan? vegan? Of course. It's, it's vegan. Friday. This can't be vegan. This is too good. It's this is delicious. It's good? Coconut cream, coconut milk. Coconut cream, amazing. Wow. If you only knew the can conversation we that we're yes. having going on over Thanksgiving yes. in my house. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you. I just have to tell you, and you hear this story all the time. Yes. I asked the ladies over there, can we eat this? One says yes, and the other one says no. Why can't I eat this? You no, gotta take. You gotta take the points. The coconut milk. Figure out the points. Yeah. Oh. Only live yeah. once. Mm -hmm. The what cheese. You mean? Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. has no dairy. Can I get back to my story, please? Yes, please. Now that you're done eating. No, keep, keep talking. I'm eating. She's eating. She doesn't yeah, have her yeah, glasses. Give me a break. She doesn't need her glasses. <laughs> she needs the glasses. But it's the journey, and I want to ask you, what does Beyond Beauty mean to you? It's looking at every individual from inside the authentic so um, everybody will judge a book by its cover and sadly to say it's the truth today yesterday and it's been done for years since caveman so therefore this story is um it's a mission or it's a, a message to today's generation that don't judge people because the way they dress and from outside and even like for today's generation, when they go to a job interview, um, the message in this book is, regardless how authentic and how beautiful you are inside, people will judge you, unfortunately, from outside. So you've so, taken your journey and you make, you've turned it into a business. Uh, I started the business, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I should say yes. But uh, the business came in because of the passion I had, because what I went through. And this is another thing when I train consultant, if you start any business, if you start it for the money, it's not gonna happen for you. Yeah. You need to have a passion. You need to dig deep inside beyond that beauty that you have. What's gonna make you stand out from your competitors and what's gonna make you shine? Yeah. And that's part of the imaging on the outside or that's the inside and the outside? It need, there needs to be a balance. You cannot be beautiful inside and don't look at outside. And as well outside, I mean, there's need to be a harmony. Yeah. And this is why when you get up in the morning and you wanna dress up, the first thing you need to ask yourself, who am I dressing for? Is it for That's me, is it for question. others? Who yeah. am I gonna impress? Now, isn't that a form of bullying when people tell you what to do, how to do it, how to dress, don't do this, don't do that. Isn't that a form of, of mentally bullying people? Not really. I mean, uh, if you want to put it that way, when you follow fashion, you are bullied by fashion. And image consulting, educating, understanding who you are, your personality, your lifestyle, uh, who you are dressing for to feel good about yourself. And if you do that, you can't make mistakes. But then if you're a model, right, you should be six feet tall and weigh two pounds wet. That used to be the old image. Now they're, they've changed that whole Absolutely. image. But it was bullying. It was making people eat brown rice and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Well, it's marketing. Marketing te te techniques that we all fall into and which we still do. It's like we all run to the shops and we must have this lipstick or this color or this top or this handbag. I still do it too. But knowing the right and wrong, knowing where to draw the line, and that's the key element to, to get where you want to be. Explain to your, explain to your weakness instead of to your strength. Well, it's I think interesting. people who are beautiful on the inside will always shine beautifully on the outside if they truly feel it. Absolutely. But often, and maybe I'm wrong, people don't feel beautiful on the outside. They always feel not good enough or they look at their weaknesses instead of their strengths. That's because they have a story. 
So you need to dig deep and see that's on the inside where it, it's hurting you yes when when we meet with our client regardless corporate individual famous or just a mother at home and it's not the swatch we tell her or to tell her uh, where this lipstick uh, where this stop the the key behind it the the story behind it is why are you feeling that way why are you feeling down so there's always either she's going through divorce or she lost uh, her husband so they come to you because they need help they need somebody to feel with them and this is a beautiful industry to make people feel good and look great about no matter what size no matter what you know color they are no matter what budget they have now do you work, so we with, work with them for that you work with women do you work with men we do yes but uh, there again because I was born in the Middle East I feel awkward working with men I have other image consultants if you if you watch the first hour of the show it was a question that I asked yes. and I was hoping that we were gonna get to that because oh, we came back to it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> because men bleed too men cry too you know Absolutely. a lot of men are I'm gonna get letters on this one a lot of men can be sometimes not all the time. Not every man <laughs> can be abusive. In their own way. Because they were abused. And they don't know any other way. Correct. You know, hate is a taught reaction. Right. Right? You don't come out of the womb and say, I'm going to hate you today. Right. It don't Correct. work that way. Absolutely. So most of, the, well, most of the stuff that goes on today that we need to change is because males have been taught improperly, improperly, to be bullies and they do it in different ways they do it psychologically they do it physically they do it mentally that's why those pra those 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 uh, puzzles. brain puzzles thank you very much are so <laughs> important yes we share our brain well you know what happens is men for some reason always think they're more intelligent than women i don't know why i really don't because most of the guys i meet again don't write to me <laughs> they, could, they could take a lesson or two you know because it takes more intelligence to be intelligent different intelligences also. I know, I can't read. You can well, read. But you can do numbers, and maybe you can do music, or maybe you can do art. They're all different things that we are capable of doing. Some of us do, just do it better than others. That's okay. what it is, but Everyone we has their but we also want to make emotional sure. Emotional intelligence. I just thought of emotional intelligence. Emotional. That's a big thing right now. Exactly. Emotional intelligence is a big thing. Yes. Yes. And it's funny because yes. we have a whole room of millennials in here, a bunch of interns in here, and some of them are males, and they have to learn that emotional intelligence, you know, it's okay to hurt. It's okay for a guy. I was taught not to cry. My uncles, don't you dare cry. That's You're the way man. I was born. Right? You're a man. How That's could you? It was that whole machismo I thing. I, I never bought into that. Never understood that. My yeah. father was never, never. He says, That's your mother. You respect women. Just like if any other woman, you treat him just like mom. There's nothing Always. more powerful than seeing a man with emotions, by yeah, the way. I agree. I agree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's yeah. incredible. Yes, man says it's yes. It's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Stop crying, boys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually a turn on, actually, I think. Oh. And yes, man. Because you, you're a turn on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're a turn on. <laughs> oh, you embarrassed him. <laughs> why? But why are you embarrassed? Don't be embarrassed. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just don't take your pants off in public. You're good to go. Apparently, yeah. you work yeah. with businesses, you work with startups. Do you work with people just every day on their image? Maybe it's not a business. Maybe yes, they just do. want to improve. With individuals, yes. yes, we do. Actually, they are our biggest target market that they come to us. And the millennials, you talked about kids wanting to go out into the workforce, what to wear, what to say, how to dress, what shoes to wear, how to sit. Right, it's a lot of the etiquette, but it's it's more about the nonverbal communication than the you know yeah. the word communication. As soon as you walk into that room, they've already made and form an impression on you. She's qualified enough. He's good enough for the job. The way you walk, the way you sit, the way you shake hand, your eye contact, all this, you know. So there's a lot behind an image consultant to work with individuals. And we do, we do teach them all that. And unfortunately, years back, they used to teach it at school, but it doesn't exist anymore. Now schools and, and uh, uh, university hire us to go and educate them. And that's exactly where it should be. And you how do they hire fun. you? How can they get in touch how with you? How can they get in touch with you? 
Feriel Joachim. Just Google my name. I'm all over social media. They're gonna Google that name? F-E-R-I-A-L. <laughs> my business that's name a is That's a puzzle in itself. Yeah. You give me that, I'll fail. <laughs> Is there an easier way to find you? She needs a V card. Uh, even my business name is by Feriel. Tell you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. We, we're going to talk about that because me, I would say, you say what? <laughs> Just Google image consultant in Florida. Are you You'll number one? Feriel, F-E-R-I-A-L. Pretty good guest. Joachim. What was that? You have a guest on the phone? All right. Oh, okay. You know, Blake, we're actually going to do it. We're going to have Amy take us out to break with a song. And when we come back, Blake, we'll connect with Barbara on the other end with Essentials. For Image Consulting, look up by Feriel, F-E-R-I-A-L. More to come. Stay tuned. We've got the music of Amy Bar- Barbara. Barbara. Barbara, like Hannah Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. We're going. Wait, Blake. Blake, don't on. play the commercial yet. Hold on. That's why. Cause you- come on. <laughs> no, I know. I know. You're, the way you did it is very confusing. What we're going to do is we're going to play a song right now, Blake, from The Originator. She's here. When she finishes, then you go to commercial. Okay, let's talk about this ahead of time next time. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, we would have, but we didn't know you were on the board. We thought somebody else was. Now, my but, next song is, is upbeat, and it's called Paint Me a Rainbow, which goes perfect with being here with an art, you know, art facility. And this is your original mm-hmm. song? Oh, yeah, everything today is originals. All right, Blake. So when she's done, we'll go to commercial, and then exactly. we'll bring Barbara in. Exactly. And I have two albums. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Dylan and Amy. Care Advanced Laser Therapy, our professional team specializes in finding the best alternative laser therapy treatments for your painful conditions. Do you suffer with chronic pain, a post-traumatic injury, or simply looking for the benefits of cell rejuvenation to the skin? Schedule a consultation today to understand how photobiomodulation can help reduce your symptoms, reduce or even eliminate pain. Give us a call today, 561 405-9577. We focus on treating you who has a disease, not a disease that defines who you are. Contact Carmen Care Laser Therapy today, 561-405-9577 or CarmenCareLaser.com. got it guys with vcard global all your contacts are in the palm of your hand never leave home without your business cards or brochures again vcard is the ultimate marketing tool no more printing cards or brochures vcard fits in the palm of your hand and is always with you vcard is a powerful networking tool that virtually promotes sharing and builds referrals for your business vcard global the virtual business card Hold your business in the palm of your hand. Contact Jennifer at jenng.bcardinfo.com, the world's most intelligent business card. I got a guy, jenng.bcardinfo.com. suffer from pain, anxiety, or inflammatory autoimmune disease? Are you ready to feel your best and take responsibility for your own health? At the wellnesslabstore.com, we offer an array of CBD cannabinoid products to help increase immunity, reduce pain, regulate your moods, and improve sleep. CBD works by interacting with a person's endocannabinoid system to keep your body in balance. Visit the wellnesslabstore.com and begin your journey to a life of better health. Safe for all ages and your pets with no psychotropic effects. Contact us today, the wellnesslabstore.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. 
If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddy S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. Back to Dawn and Freddy S. And, and we're back. And we are back at the Brooklyn Cafe that might be Wow, I guess that works. <laughs> All right, we're going to back. Okay, so let's try to... One, Wait, so two, or four. We still want to hear the music of Amy Barbera. Since we didn't get her on out to commercial break, we're getting her back in from commercial break. This is her original song. And then Start Barbara the song. will cut over to you. And then, uh, and then we'll play it up, and then we'll go from there. Ready, Amy? Yes. All right, so here we go. Hello? Blake, we're on. It's, we're all good. Blake, we're Anyone on. There? Blake, we're on. Just patience, please. Well, you got to talk because we're going to talk. All right. Amy, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Go. We got the music rolling. It's Paint Me a Rainbow by Amy Barbera. It's just a long music bed, everyone, but it is beautiful. We've got some food here with Chef Z. It's delicious, Chef, by the way. It, then we're going to have essentials. And we ready? Amy? I know it's a meditation song. All right, so while we're rolling, we're going to keep chit chatting because we're on radio. And as soon as you're ready to roll, Amy, just let me know. Paint me a rainbow in the sky Where all the colors gleam so bright Paint me a rainbow so I can dream of happy days Paint me a rainbow in the sky Where my heart will forever fly Paint me a rainbow and bring me hope again Paint me a rainbow After the storm Light up the gloomy skies Blue as the seas Violet like the lilac trees Paint me a rainbow Paint me a rainbow Paint me a rainbow in the sky Where all the colors gleam so bright Paint me a rainbow so I can dream of happy days Paint me a rainbow in the sky Where my heart will forever fly Paint me a rainbow and bring me hope again. Not long ago, I dreamed of golden skies, white clouds pure and bright, birds flying high. Then came the rain, only gray skies. Lord, I miss your ray of hope. Lord, I miss your love. Lord, I miss your love. It's not over. <laughs> Paint me a rainbow. Oh, it wasn't over. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I can't that. hear the music, so I'm just. 
Amy, that was beautiful. That was you music did of Amy well. Barbera. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, music yeah. We're just, when we're queuing up music, sometimes it's a little bit harder on the radio. Radio is it. tough because you can't go black. You can't go the dark on the on the radio. You have to continue so, to play it. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Amy. We've got well, it's been well. a full couple hours here, so we're going to keep everyone on camera three. And Barbara's camera is not working. So we've got Barbara on audio only. Okay. So <laughs> it's just one of those technical days we've got going on. Barbara, are you there? So Freddie, you know what? This segment of the show was brought to you by... Essentials. Eat your essentials. Get your essentials on. Did you see this? Did you take your essentials yet today? I haven't. I was waiting for Barbara. Blake, is Barbara there? Okay, while we're waiting for Barbara, we're going to talk to Deb. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Yay. Um, yes, we're going to talk about essentials. By the way, um, Freddie, you were talking about brain, um, something extra for the brain. They have, obviously, other products. That, one of their products, I think it's under their water. They have a specific um, essential uh, nu nutrient for the brain. Maybe we should get that for you. Yeah. I, know, I think you're doing great. For, you know, essential, ha New Earth has plenty of different items and they do have one for the brain because I ordered it for myself. And does it work? <laughs> well, yeah. Did you, you did you see answer? How, you see how brainy I am, right? Did you do the puzzles? No, I wasn't here for that, but I wanted to We've got to more puzzles. puzzles to do. Chef, this soup is She's absolutely delicious. She's back, Fred. Delicious. Okay, thank you, Blake. Yeah. Blake. Hey, Barbara, are you there? Yeah, can you hear me this time? We can hear you. Hi, Barbara Swanson. Where, are you in Las Vegas now? I am in Las Vegas. Yes, I am. Talk about technical things going on. Barbara, we've been playing Oh, my phone goodness. Tag yeah, my power source for my computer died when I got here. And so I had to order it on Prime. Love, love my Prime, but it's not here till tomorrow. So I have no computer power. <laughs> So at least we got Barbara by audio. Deb was just, we have brain training and brain teasers and puzzles we did on our last hour. And Freddie feels a little brain insufficiency when it comes to his puzzles. So Deb was telling us about one of the products that New Earth has to help with brain function. Yeah. Which product would that Which be? Which one? Because there's a couple actually, but uh, is she talking about mine? I think the one in the water line. Is it the one in the water line? Well, there's mine and then there's focus. So focus is in the edge line, and then mind is in the um, essential line. Mind and focus. Those both sound pretty good, Freddie. Right. Okay. Yeah, focus. Focus is really nice. Focus has um, lion's mane mushroom, and lion's mane mushroom has been proven in actually several different studies to um, actually regenerate nerve function at, um, brain in brain tissue. So it, 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 it reduces the effects of Alzheimer's in studies. It's, it's been shown to reduce plaque in Alzheimer's in studies. So it has a lot of brain benefits. What's it called? It's called, Lions. it's called Focus. It's, it's called, called Focus. Focus. Wow. It's in the edge. There's you, different. Yes, that the one you bought? I think that's the one I bought. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What I didn't realize. You're not sure what you bought? Susan always helps You're me. You're not sure that what you bought? Well, I'm, Susan or Barbara helped me because, of course, I'm still learning a lot about. But that things. product, yeah, Barbara, exactly. sounds amazing. We're all still learning. So focus is great. It's a it's an actual formulation. So it also has ginkgo biloba. It has mind, which is in the um, heart of the blue green algae. The and there's nutrients in, in the heart of the algae that also preferably protect brain function. The the pigment protects brains from um, inflammatory issues and inflammatory issues in the brain look like headaches, brain fog, um, eyesight diminishing. Like so there's a lot of things that happen in your brain that might look like something completely different as a symptom. You know what, Barbara, that's amazing because Chef Z is with us and she just pulled up a picture of the mushroom and it looks like a brain. Exactly. Yeah. It, that's that's, that's the, the amazing the thing. Signatures. When, when the plant looks like the body, the, the part of the body it affects. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing oh, wow. how that happened? It's true, when the plant looks like the part, and Judy's shaking her head, yes, yeah. and this mushroom yeah. looks like yeah. a brain. You talk about what Mother Nature knows, yeah. right? Yeah, lion's mane mushroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You've heard of lion's mane mushroom? The, the native people, yeah. the indigenous people, they use the doctrine of signatures to, to find plants that are medicinal. It's, it's quite... It's quite amazing, actually, when you, when you look into it. So I love that. Can I cut this mushroom up and have it on a steak? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm vegan. I'm vegan. <laughs> have it on a vegan steak, a fake steak. Uh, yeah, uh, some of 
of the best mushrooms really we good. have are culinary mushrooms. Um, Chef C will probably know about this too. The um, maitake, shiitake, the oyster mushroom. Those three mushrooms are phenomenal um, nutrient mushrooms. Oyster but mushrooms. Also delicious. I've had oyster mushrooms. And they grow all those mushrooms at Gratitude Farm. Remember, they were on with all of the other herbs that they brought, the turmeric and everything. They grow you know, we need mushrooms. some of that turmeric this stuff. Is, this is from their farm. That's from his farm, those right. mushrooms that she's showing us pictures oh, of. Oh, he has them at the farm? Yes. The uh, mushrooms? Yes. I think the focus is amazing and that you have studies, Barbara, that are showing that it's reducing brain, brain plaque and reducing symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Judy, that is true, right? Think about what you do and how we, when we met, it was through the Alzheimer's, through the brain ball, exactly. and how many people this could potentially help. We should have it at the brain ball. We should. We I think it'll be an important piece. This to Pam. Absolutely. I think Pam Polani was, should know, I, be Barbara. I want to give an example of just how powerful food is for Alzheimer's. And this is not about anything I sell, but it's just such a great example. So in Norway, they did a huge study over 800 people for eight years. So it was a big study. They lived in uh, retirement communities. Half of those people, they had to do one thing differently once a week. And that half of the people had 80% less incidence of Alzheimer and senility. And that one thing they do different is they ate eight ounces of salmon once a week. Wow. We're having salmon for Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're having what? Salmon. I was told I can't eat salmon. You were told you can't eat it. It's wild caught. That's fresh. So Barbara, that's the difference mm -hmm. also in Chef, right? It's not just salmon, it's the wild caught salmon. salmon. Uh, absolutely. The farm salmon is toxic. One of the most toxic products on the on the planet. It's it, it's horrific. I, I wouldn't even. Which I wouldn't one? Feed it to farm. my dog. I don't feed it to my cats. That's how bad it is. Did, did you see? So what you need wild caught. Yes. Did you see the latest that came out the same day that you had that lady on here? They said don't eat the salmon. In the news, there's something going on where they're putting in fake <gasps> salmon in the market. Die. Did you see that? Yeah. Anybody oh, wow. see that? No. Mm -hmm. You, you saw it? Janice? I didn't see it. And I'm sitting there, and my eyes went this big. It was like 11:30 at night. I was watching the news. I almost called you. I says, "Are you kidding me?" And they're they're putting fake salmon into the market, cutting it up, and saying that it's salmon, and it's not, mm -hmm. and it's bad fish that they're catching. Yeah. Wait, he? Yeah. In he Florida, yeah. About it, Barbara. Oh, you know about God. it? Barbara, you heard about it? I have heard about it. It's not. Um, it's not just salmon. It's most fish. Yes. Uh, yeah. Do you, wow. you know about eighty percent of the lobster so, yeah, you eat is not trains. lobster? It's hagfish. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is ridiculous. So now you have to be careful when you buy it, and and even though it says that it's it's wild caught or whatever, it doesn't necessarily might not be. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Can't it's even try to really trust your food and sources. So, a couple things to do when you're looking at a piece of salmon. Touch it with your finger and push down. If it the, if it's not really firm, it's not salmon. Mm -hmm. that's what really, salmon when will, will not. Will, it doing? will bounce a little bit. It's it, 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 gotta be firm. In any it's way, mushy, it's a wow. different fish. Oh. And is it true that salmon should have a lot of white lines in it? It should have a deep, rich color, um, and it should have white lines all the way marbled through it, like a really good beef. Yes. That's supposed um, to be that uh, brain pink, stuff. That's all yeah. fake. That's all farmed. And by the way, that pale pink is is it's actually adding colorant. It's not real to the fish. Yeah. The red coloring, yeah. And yeah. salmon too. They're adding that orange coloring. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so salmon is in orange. They are. It's not orange. No. So what's actually, the salmon is bright orange. Really it should true. be bright I orange. It. I live in the Northwest. I've caught salmon since I was a little kid. That's it. I'm done with it. So it is, it is, um, I'm back to freaking uh, it's McDonald's. not bright red, but <laughs> I know it's a kills me. rich red. It should be firm. Uh, it should be marbled. Um, what else? You, you really want it with the skin on. It's, a, it's actually another <laughs> red flag if they're trying to sell you salmon and the skin's not on. Oh. It's funny, Freddie says he's just going to go back to knowing what foods kill him because at least he knows. Those at least I know it's killing me. He knows he's going to kill him. Why be healthier? I'm going to McDonald's. I know it's going to kill me. I eat that crap. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know what? It's why I eat essentials. Honest to goodness. 
at least I know there's one food in my life guaranteed to be giving me what it promises. <laughs> It's, right, I right. was. what I was thinking. It's the blue green algae of essential. Can I just eat algae? Can I just like take like twenty different and forget about food altogether? I mean, what the hell? You know what I'm you saying? You know what? There's not enough calories, so no, you can't. Not yeah. enough calories. Here we go. I have this milkshake. What difference? Does it make? But the essentials gives you everything you need. <laughs> yeah. During, in the morning, it you, gives you your probiotics. It gives you. Your I take digestive it every day on a set. Prebiotics, probiotics. And it's beginning to work already. Bees. Watch in another two minutes. Watch out, ladies, because it's like a volcano's <laughs> coming. I can't believe the amount of energy that I get from this stuff. I mean, there's got to be something in it. I get the same amount of energy from my coffee. <laughs> that's a, no, that's a different, that's a whole different energy. Well, yeah, because this stuff, what, what he's taking is nutrient, you know, it's superfood nutrients. So. This, this stuff, I begin to percolate. Percolate. So, yeah. And so Dawn says, Somebody turn the AC down because my blood pressure, I guess everything goes up and it, it helps me with my, oh my, my diabetes gosh. Wednesday and circulation. Wednesday was ridiculous. You took well, your Well, I had too much CBD that day. CBD, and I guess I was having a hot flash because I thought I was going to die sitting over. I keep a fan behind me on the floor because sometimes by the time he takes all the stuff he takes, Barbara, he takes the essentials and his body temperature just elevates. It's unbelievable. We take it right on the air. Well, to make sure you get it done. I have to say about my mom, who's 77, who just had um, knee replacement surgery uh, 10 weeks ago, Tuesday. She's been on essentials for eight months and also CBD oil. And uh, her diabetes is in control now. She's lost weight. She went through the surgery like a champ. Um, her blood pressure medicine is done. It's gone. After all these years, she's not taking it anymore. And um, her lupus is in remission. That's so there's something to be said about essentials in CBD oil. And that's the only I mean, thing she was taking, right? That's it. That's the only mm -hmm. thing. Although for two weeks prior to the surgery, she wasn't able to take anything, any supplements or anything out of the or except for her medicine, so she needed to take her diabetes medicine. And um, But I'm telling you, just her mental state, everything, because I've always tried to help my mom as much as I can, educate her because she comes from a different generation than myself. So... It, it, I'm telling you, it's it's amazing what it's done for my mom. Now, I don't know, Barbara, I don't know if I spoke to you, but I just had a couple of weeks ago, I had my blood work come back from my diabetes. And when I first met Barbara, I was uh, 7.2 at the uh, AYC. Maybe a little higher than yeah, that. Yeah, higher. Yeah, higher than that. Well, I, I you was were just, higher than that, Freddie. You, yep. were, you were pretty high. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, guess what, honey? It came back. I'm a 6.1. Wow. And technically, I'm not a diabetic awesome. anymore, and they uh, want to take me off the insulin, yes. so I got to make sure See, that... See, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, um, I love hearing that. Congratulations. And, you know, I just want to say, essentials is a great food, but it's also because you made a whole bunch of other choices and decisions, yeah. and they all added up. So yeah. congratulations, Freddie. Well, the other, the other thing that I tell my diabetic friends is that sometimes di with diabetes, you get sluggish. Yeah. You know, you don't want to work. Mm -hmm. You're sort of tired all the time. You sort of sit back and say... I mean, Chuck takes it too, and if he don't have his essentials, he ain't the same type of person. He doesn't have his essentials, he's a little grouchy. This gives me all the energy to do what I need to do. And again, 6.1, I want to get it down a little bit lower than that. Um, I'm hoping to get off of the insulin and the metformin. Mm -hmm. I tell them I'll take, I'll stay on that if they want. I really don't yeah, care. Yeah, take a metformin, but if everything, I mean, even the weight, everything. Everything. It's amazing. And the being in remission for lupus, just found that That's out amazing. just a few weeks ago. And she's di got diagnosed with that like probably 10 years ago. That's incredible. So it's all about, and plus, of course, we changed her diet. We Well, you know, the lupus, diet. the lupus, right, with the wellness, the CBD, this, yeah. that's what she had, and that's this is how she got yeah, better. Yeah, the CBD. The yeah, pants. I swear by the CBD oil and the essentials. I mean, it's just been life-changing for my mom. Let's go to commercial break. To get your essentials, visit the website, eatessentialsnow.com. Put in BC TV fan for your 10% discount. Barbara, stay on the line. We're going to go to a quick commercial okay. break, and we'll be right back. I want to eat the mushrooms. <laughs> it's good. I think lion's mane is culinary, by the way. Blake, turn us on to commercial, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Really can't tell what's going on over there.
Let's all welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Ant2 TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full service internet TV radio production company, discover Ant2 TV, a full service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development and they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed caption for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A-M-E, the number 2.tv. Or call them at 866-224-5422. Feel free to call for a quote or just a consult of how to put your business on a social media platform or radio platform or just doing a show that is covered by all platforms. Call 866-224-5422 and make an appointment. That's 866-224-5422. What is Deborah Size? With over 25 years of personal training experience and workout techniques, Deb Varsalone invites you to Deversize. Deversize comes to you from the privacy of your own home or group training facility. Deversize can meet your individual fitness needs. Offering one-on-one -on -one, non-impact resistance training, post-surgical strengthening to higher level boot camp and weight training, Deversize will meet your personal fitness goals at any age. Contact Deb at 561-307-9283. Schedule an initial consultation and get ready for a stronger, healthier you. 561-307-9283. Do you want to enhance your love life with flowers? Rejuvenate love, life, health with flowers from Blossom Moments? Weekly deliveries to your home, your business, hospital, or even senior centers. Give us a call at 561-951-6343. Blossom Moments could also coordinate your wedding or event. Contact Blossom Moments at bmgevents.net. For all of your floral event needs, large or small, call Blossom Moments. 561-951-6343. And we look forward to hearing from you. watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. Back to Dawn and Freddie S. And we're back. We got more cowbell. We're back on our Friday edition. We've had the beautiful music of Amy Barbera. We've had April Ancelona that we did not even get to really speak with. That's right. And you'll have, she's friends with Sal. I know, Salvatore. Sal. Salvatore, Principe. Principe. Do you know Salvatore was here when he did the hearts, right? Because yes. he, that's what he's known for. And Salvatore said to us that he was going to build a bar here where he was going to be the bartender uh -uh. and salvatore gave me this idea to do a branding bar mm -hmm. which we're waiting for and the interns will be the bartender because salvatore has moved on to bigger and better things yes but he was always known as the man with the heart because it was dedicated to his mother who he had lost i think three yes, years ago it was. he lost his mom like three years ago uh, no, i think it was a little longer than that yeah. i'm not quite sure that the year but it was longer than that and he wanted to put it on sneakers and clothes and things yeah like. so how did you work with him oh it's a long story um well i was that okay so let me tell you a little bit about myself so i could get into that 
Um, I was a fa fashion illustrator back in the early 90s. And I illustrated for many magazines down in South Beach and freelanced, you know, stuff like that. And then I kind of became a fine artist because fashion illustration went by the wayside. Graphics took over, uh, photographers took over, and it's kind of gone now. It was actually a viable um, career back then. So being um, down in Florida in the arts, you know, in the 80s and 90s, it's kind of like, you know, but I did a lot of... Uh, uh, gallery openings in South Beach and worked with a lot of uh, people in South Beach and you know from that I ended up meeting tons of artists and um, Salvatore was one of them and um, when Sal had his warehouse over in the other area on um, I think it was Rogers Circle um, he used to throw his parties and I used to help him out with that and um, so a lot of people met Sal yeah he's, he's popular and yeah, how'd you run into this artist that you have with you now oh Amy and I have a We've long been friends story like 20 years 20 years yeah yeah and um through Joey I, Restivo from yeah. Lanier remember the group Lanier yes from Joey Joey's, that's why uh, oh really I worked with Joey on on the road I used to do um um, all his hand painted clothing for him and uh, MTV videos, all his jackets and all that oh, stuff. Gosh, and I yeah, a lot yeah, of you 80s well rock nice. bands. You, you do a lot I'm of stuff. My age. You'll have to come back and show us your clothing. Amy, where can people download your album from or buy it? I have two albums. I have, uh, this is my first album, Breath of Angels. I mean, Beautiful Flower of Life, I'm sorry. Uh, all my music's on CD Baby, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, everywhere. So, and, and, and Amy's music, you didn't get to hear the whole thing with the music because of our radio, but please take a listen to her music. It is truly inspirational and uplifting, and as we go into the holiday season, I'm so glad you're here with us to kick it off because your music and your butterfly song, and you're right, it's something that everyone resonates with. Yeah. It's, you know, finding your beyond beauty, your inner beauty, yeah. and letting it shine, and coming out of that cocoon, and being you, and the authentic who you are. I know, Freddie, hug a tree. Yeah. I'm yes. always hugging trees, but it's always about stepping into your power, right? That's and, right, yeah. And identifying with who you are. Yes. And Barbara, to that point, what you do with Essentials is it has made a difference in your life and your children's lives. I don't know if we lost Barbara. Absolutely, it sure has. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's actually why I really got into this um, in the way that I did sharing it so much because it did make such a difference for uh, my son and then my daughter later on in life. And yes. That is such a gift. We talked about the Focus product through New Earth and how it's helping. You've seen, seen studies that helps with brain function and reduction of plaque and Alzheimer's disease. And then the Essentials program, you said, and actually next week we have a young man coming on who was with TEDx, TED Talks, youth and he is on the autistic spectrum and he talks about the road less traveled so he's going to be joining us on wednesday before thanksgiving and sharing his story and you had told us about your son and how essentials made such a huge difference in his life yep and in particular the mind product which is the other product for brain function um to this day my son if i buy him a bottle of 240 capsules he may eat that up in a week or less if I'm not like careful with it because he he just feels like it's everything to him it's amazing what a high quality what the blue green algae can do to brain function you're taking imagine if you didn't take it well no, you wouldn't even get the mouth puzzles just kidding you probably <laughs> well, you know, I'm not sure I'd be alive without algae and, and I'm very serious about that I've had four spinal cord surgeries and um, oh. in one of them I woke up in ICU wow. and they I wasn't able to breathe. I mean, I, I, I do think that with the level of nutrition my body has had, I, I may not have survived. When we talk about good nutrition, and it's about everything, the essentials in the morning, the blue-green algae, and you can get yours if you're listening or watching us at eatessentialsnow.com, BCTV fan. I ordered, I think I got you a box this month. I got my husband a box this month. Deb, I know Susan's mom has had phenomenal. She's yeah. 93, right? Yeah. She celebrated her birthday here with us. Yeah. Session. And they gave her high, high doses of the essentials and her pneumonia. She's had incredible results. Yeah, and her hip replacement. They, doctors couldn't believe it. They had brought all the other doctors in and said, okay, what are you doing? So she said, I've been giving my mom the essentials. And, and they the same were, thing with your yeah, mom. Yeah, with my mom. And it's just amazing. Um, you can see what can, can be done. 
And besides the physical benefits of it, I've seen such emotional, I and mean, you talked about cognitive function. I know it's helped people with their mood. They've had better moods. Mm -hmm. Barbara, you said your son, it, you, it had cha it saved his life with his mood and his outlook on things. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. And my daughter, my, my youngest daughter, whom I adopted, um, had some brain issues too from, from birth. And um, she, she does not go a day. The very first thing in her mouth is the essentials product. And I think it's a holiday season. You know, we talk all the time, we tease, it's not always a Norman Rockwell Thanksgiving. It's not always the best time of year for some people because, right, we have to yeah. address our past and the journeys we're on. And Well, the holidays always brings in depression, right? Yeah. You talk about... Yeah. And that's why I was going to mention yep. the shirt you have on, Fred. The shirt, right here. I am dope. I am dope. It, it's... Um, Fred, this, you got a whole new wardrobe this week. This is my daughter's <laughs> creation. Um, it's called wearedopemovement.com. Dope in the Urban Dictionary is great, means great, good, it's young people are into this. But what it is, if there's a, there's a little writing about it, but if you go to the website, um, $5 for every t-shirt goes to uh, suicide prevention. Oh. And uh, yeah, if you read it, Don, you can see a little bit about what Wear it's about. Wear our shirt, post a video on social media showing or telling us why you are dope or why someone else is dope, tag us at we are dope movement.com hashtag we are dope movement and we'll repost it share our movement five dollars of every t-shirt goes back to suicide prevention and next week we're actually having um the following week the sexual trafficking the human trafficking in oh, south wow. florida is absolutely horrific and what's going on oh, with yeah. that we've got a foundation coming on um they're publishing books to raise money to help support there's technology out there to help identify predators and these are not happy topics but you know, the kids they are out of be, school. They're becoming more susceptible. They need to be discussed, yeah. though. And they're all over social media. So we talk about body health, well-being, and brain health. But again, it's about suicide prevention, and everybody counts. It's a positive, you know, we talked about millennials. It's a positive sign that, you know, to be dope is to be hip. Yeah. And you take a picture and you post it, right? Yeah, and you can also talking? get one that says they have I am dope and we are dope. You can buy one for someone. And send that send that to them, and write why you think they are dope. Just to thank somebody. That's another thing. And they have all different colors. My daughter designed them, and she's very into you know mental health and helping people. Thank you, Deb. And as Amy, you said, it's all about hope. Yes, so you it can is. find Amy's music, Amy Barbera's music at CD Baby. Yeah, and I'm a web, my if you go to my website, amybarbera.com. The last name is B A R B E R A. All, where all my music is available and all my social media is on my website. So and thank cool. you, Barbara. Check it out, eatessentialsnow.com, BCTV fan for 10% discount. And of course, look up by Fariel for all of your image consulting. F-E-R-I-A-L. We're going to get her an easier name to remember. <laughs> Chef Z, thank you. Oh my gosh, what a day, everyone. Thank you. Have a fabulous Friday. Be kind to each other. We'll Enjoy. see you Monday, thank same you. time, same place. Enjoy the weekend. Thank Don't be you. late. Bye-bye. The Heart of Delray Gallery, located in the Delray Art Complex, is one of South Florida's top venues for art, culture, music, and private events. The Heart of Delray Gallery is a cutting-edge, 11,000-square-foot art exhibition showcasing local artists and artisans with the highest quality of talent and vision, highlighting South Florida's creative arts. Visit us at the Heart of Delray Gallery, 1440 North Federal Highway in Delray Beach. Come take a tour, book your next private event or fundraiser, or join us for Art Walk the the first Friday of every month from 6 to 11 p.m. For more information, give us a call at 561-278-0074. Health and Vitamin Concepts can help balance you through an innovative, non-invasive biomeridian assessment that measures the energetic properties of your body and naturally corrects the imbalances. Offering a complete thyroid, hormone, and nutritional profile, Health and Vitamin Concepts identifies the specific vitamins and herbs in the exact amount your body needs. Call for more information, 561-392-8448, or visit online at healthandvitaminconcepts.com. If you're ready to have more energy, better health, and a greater sense of well-being make an appointment today at health and vitamin concepts in boca raton at 7152 barracasa way call 561-392-8448 that's 561-392-8448 
Well, that's about it for today. Even though the show is over, the Brooklyn Cafe is always open for business. You're invited to join the fun every day. If you missed some of the last from today, Dawn and Freddie S. will bring you more goodwill next time. You can follow the cafe on Facebook at the Brooklyn Cafe TV to rewatch every minute of the show. We'll see you next time. AM 1470 WNN with more of what you need to know. Get all the latest on health with Caller Health Questions.